Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome back to my garden. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to kind of take it easy and slow down a bit because I am just getting over COVID. However, I am starting to feel good, so I want to be out in my garden, but I just don't want to be working too hard in my garden. So I'm going to take you along with me and do a little garden maintenance. I'm going to start out in the front of my house and prune my roses. They put on another beautiful show for fall, but they do need to be deadheaded. And I think if I can cut off all the flowers, all the spent blooms, I might be able to get another show for fall. Look at all these roses. They were so beautiful this last fall show but I need to cut off all these spent blooms. What will happen if I don't is, well, the petals will eventually fall off, but then the roses will create these things called rose hips. And while they do look kind of interesting and pretty in the winter time, the plant will put all of its energy into creating these rose hips. And I would rather have my rose plant put energy into creating new blooms. Because here in California, I know I'm gonna have some nice weather still. So I'm gonna take off them old flowers and stop my rose bushes from making the rose hips so all the energy can go into putting in new blooms before winter. Now in case you're wondering where to make the cut when deadheading roses, well if you just cut it right here, that's fine. That means new growth will start right where the leaf gets to the stem. But if I was actually pruning these, I would probably want to cut down where I see five leaves, because that's the thickest and most strongest point of the cane. But for me today, I'm just cutting right at the head. I'm not trying to prune the rose or shape it. I just want to get rid of all the dead flowers. As you can see, I'm left with a bucket of nothing but soft petal leaves. So I'm going to compost all this. I'll probably just dump it in the chicken coop. Had I been pruning my roses, I would have been left with a lot of long canes with a ton of thorns. So that's not very desirable for me to put in my chicken coop. So since this is just nothing but petals, I think it'll be fun for the chickens today. Now I know it looks like my roses are bare. However, deadheading the flowers off is definitely very, very important if you wanna get new buds. Because instead of this bush putting all of its energy into developing those rose hips, which would have formed, now my plant can think about making new buds. 
kind of like getting a good haircut. You're trying to grow your hair long and you hate to cut off that five inches, but you know it'll make your hair much healthier and in return, it'll grow back even better than before. So it really is important to deadhead flowers. Or you can just let them fall off like I said and then you'll have a mess on the ground with a bunch of rose petals. <laughs> so that's why I chose to deadhead mine. Well, I was planning on getting a few more things done today, but honestly, that's all the energy I had. So I'm going to cut this video short today. And I just want to say, you know what? Sometimes if all you have is 10 minutes to get into your garden, 10 minutes or even five minutes, five minutes is better than no minutes. And honestly, I feel so good that I was able to just do what I did, even if it was something so simple as deadheading roses. It was an accomplishment and I improved my garden and I got out in my garden and it made me happy. So even if you only have a couple minutes a day for whatever reasons, I encourage you get out in your garden anyway and you'll feel so much better than if you didn't do it at all. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you have a beautiful day in your garden too. Bye.